Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to log your food into MyFitnessPal. Okay, so there's three ways that we can log your food in MyFitnessPal. We can add directly from the diary, we can use the scanner, or we can create a recipe. Okay, so to start by just adding your food, you're going to go into your diary and you're going to click Add Food. Okay, from here, um, if you're new to MyFitnessPal, this will be completely blank. But if you um, have never, if you have used MyFitnessPal, some of the stuff will save, so you won't have to always search for every little thing. Okay, so if we're having something we've never had before, or we're new to MyFitnessPal, we're gonna have to search for it. So let's say we're having some watermelon for breakfast. I'm gonna search for it. And right at the top, you're gonna see watermelon with a little green check mark verifying from the app that this information is correct. Okay, now to be more accurate, you're going to want to add the serving size in a way that is measurable. Okay, so one cup ball, we don't exactly know how large that is, so we're going to click that, we're going to make that into grams. Okay, so the serving size is one gram, so now I can go ahead and I can search for it in weight. So using your food scale, you can weigh out your watermelon, and let's say that watermelon weighed out 150 grams, okay? Now we know 150 grams is a, roughly 11 grams of carbs, not quite half a gram of fat, almost one gram of protein. Okay, so we know exactly what is in that, and we can also scroll down and see the micronutrients. So those vitamins and minerals that are in the food. Okay, now we're going to click the check mark at the top. Okay, and boom, we have just logged watermelon. It'll even pop up if it's a, if it's a good source of a certain nutrient. Okay, so that's how we'd log it using the um, diary. Now let's say we want to use a scanner. So I'm going to click lunch this time so you can see the other example. So I'm going to click add food just like before. Now you're going to see a little barcode. Okay, it's right under my foods on the right. Okay, you're going to see that little scanner. Okay, so you're going to click that scanner. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to bring up your camera. Okay, so now we're going to take something. So let me go ahead and use an example of a protein powder. I'm going to put this right over the barcode and boom, brings it up. One scoop, okay, one scoop, which in parentheses says 32 grams. So I'd weigh out 32 grams, and that is what equals what's on the barcode. Okay, so that is another way of weighing out your uh, logging your food is by just directly scanning it. Now we can see that everything in here aligns with what's on the nutrition label of that product so i'm going to click that green that check mark on the top and boom and again now it's telling me this is a high so this is a good source that's high in protein protein powder so third way is going to be create a recipe so to create a recipe okay you're going to go ahead you're going to click more in the bottom right corner you're going to go to my recipes, my meals, my recipes, okay? If you've done things in the past, they'll all be saved in here, okay? Or um, uh, if you have never used this before, it'll be blank, okay? So create a recipe. So if I wanted to enter an ingredient manually, so this is a recipe I made myself, I can go ahead and I can search whatever I want, okay? So let's say that I wanted to make um, a barbecue chicken. So let's say it was uh, a batch of chicken. So let's say it was 16 ounces of chicken breast. Okay, and it's usually best to search for in the app um, how you've made it. So if you're weighing this out raw, 16 ounces of chicken breast raw, or if you've already cooked it and now you're making something with it, maybe you'll search for it um, like grilled, okay? So let's just say we weighed it out raw because we're making this fresh, okay? 16 ounce chicken breast raw, okay? And let's say we used one cup of, um, here's a common barbecue sauce, sweet, baby rays, Okay, let's say you used a barbecue sauce like that, you could do that. Or if you were making your own seasoning, seasoning doesn't have calories, so you probably wouldn't even have to go to the extent of creating a recipe if you were doing just chicken with some seasoning on it. 
you could just log that as chicken and that is going to be the same. Okay, but if you're putting multiple ingredients in something, then you can go into here and log all those. So um, let's say it was chicken breast. Let's say it was, uh, let's say you had some onions and uh, peppers. Let's say you're making yourself like a little bit of like a stir fry. Um, specify the amount. So let's say it was half a cup of onions. Let's say it was half cup of peppers. Okay, you see what I'm doing? I'm just putting ingredients in here. Let's say you used uh, one cup of rice. I don't know. These ratios are very off, but that is okay. You see the point. Recipe, you can name it. Your name, so John Stir Fry. Um, serves how many people? Let's say that this serves four people because of the amount of chicken. Okay, if it serves four people, then maybe this cup of rice would go ahead and be a little more. Okay, I can click that arrow in the top right corner and that brings me here. And now I can see that for each serving, it is 160 calories. And if I click to the next screen, it'll say that it's 36 grams of protein, 7.7, 7.3 grams of carbs, 1.2 grams of fat. So there's clearly an error here because if there was three cups of rice in this batch, it's going to come out to more than seven grams of carbs. So you want to be aware of some of that stuff. So now I'm going to go back and see what is going on. Why is this? So for some reason, it picked up rice as spinach. Not sure why, but I am going to delete that and I'm going to search for cooked rice one cup cooked rice search and now I can go ahead and find an option that is better okay and I can do the same thing and now 330 grams 330 calories per serving okay so creating a recipe you can create enter the ingredients manually or you could go ahead and just straight import a URL recipe if you are doing that. Save, save and log.